What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest pixel experience from Alpha build based on Android 14 and this is the 26th October 2023 build as you can see from here. I have flashed it with the recommended recovery which is the QL TWRB and you will find that in the description box below as well as in this post link and if you want to have most amount of fast charging you can also flash this particular kernel which is mentioned this kernel for in 8000 charging PMIC or something like that. So if you want to have the most amount of fast charging only then you can flash that kernel. I haven't flashed it. Even without that my fast charging and all everything is working fine. It was not installing the apps and stuff properly. So that's why I had to actually reinstall it with the QLT WRP and only after that I got everything working properly and all my apps right now are updated and they are working flawlessly no problems. Earlier I was getting a little bit of like force closes and all with the apps but right now that problem has been completely gone all the apps has been installed properly and let me tell you i have actually restored my google app data backup all the apps that i have restored has worked perfectly fine no problems right now and one of the best features in my opinion about this pixel experience rom well this is of course made by polkit agarwal so huge thanks to the developers of this rom and this particular build includes the miui camera over here and that is actually working flawlessly as you can see from right here there is the 0.66 ultra wide angle lens 1x and the 2x option everything is working fine with this particular miui camera and if you go into the portrait mode yes the portrait mode also is working perfectly fine as you can see from right here so no problems whatsoever with this particular miui camera and the shutter speed and all everything is pretty fast let me actually take a portrait selfie and currently by the way i'm against the light but still the portrait selfie quality it's really really good and this is a perfectly optimized 16 megapixel portrait selfie that i just took and even with the rear camera and stuff the details are really really good no problems whatsoever with this miui camera and if you go into the video settings as you can see sometimes the camera force closes let me just close it up and right now if i switch to the video settings as you can see right now the video is working and you can go up to 4k 30 ps also there is a super macro lens that should be working fine yep as you can see super macro lens it's working perfectly fine and the front camera video only force closes as you can see if i switch to the front camera video mode it force closes it shows that back screen so that is not working but other than that if i go okay so it's just force closing right now not really sure why so right now even opening normally the camera as you can see right now it has opened but earlier it was force closing if you go into the video settings make sure you are not switching to the front camera otherwise it will force close the documents mode and stuff everything should be working fine including with the pro mode there is the pro mode video and all you can shoot pro mode videos with the rear camera up to 4k 30 fps as well so pretty much miui camera is mostly working except for the front camera videos even portrait mode, 64 megapixel mode, everything will be working fine. If you just swipe up, you will get even more options like the short video, vlog mode, slow motion, everything is there. They should be working perfectly fine. No need to worry about them. So this, in my opinion, is one of the best feature about this ROM that you are getting the MIUI camera right out of the box on Android 14. Now, in case you are wondering about the Android version section, this is how it looks like. We get the Android version as 14. And if you just keep tapping on, you will get the Android 14's Easter egg. And if you tap and hold over here, everything will speed up just like this. And it shakes a little bit. And you will get that Android 14's Easter egg. And you will get this kind of spaceship which goes like this so yeah pretty much the android 14 is working perfectly fine with the pixel experience from over here and here you are getting the latest october 5th 2023 security patch so that's just great and we have the stock kernel as the 4.14 QL kernel over here and we have the build number present right here this is the pixel experience for suite and this is the 26th october alpha build in case you are wondering about the build date in the system settings we don't have any system updated yet because then again it's an alpha build and we have the gesture settings right here but there are not much features again because of the alpha build series and we have the quickly open camera right here then we have the navigation mode you will also get that like hint navigation kind of like learning kind of process over here is there as well of android 14 and in the settings we have the swipe to invoke assistant that is actually working perfectly fine left edge right edge customization is there and we have the three button navigation we go into we have the hold for assistant as well the one handed mode also is working fine we have the press and hold power button action and you can change it to digital assistant if you want prevent tricking option is also there we have the keyboard option separately and you can customize your keyboard whatever you're using of course i have been using gboard 
and talking about the stock apps of this ROM, these are the stock apps that you will get. Except for the Pixart and the Fresh Walls app, everything is present by default. These two are there because I was restoring my Google App Data Backup. Here you will get the normal Google Dialer and you will be able to record calls, but it may announce it because it's a Google Dialer present by default. And in case you are wondering about the wallpaper, I have been using a Fresh Walls app's wallpaper. And if I go into the home screen settings, these are the launcher settings and you will get the search and disabling option right here. Let me go back. We have the search your phone and the allow home screen rotation and all. We have the overview session and the other settings that you are noticing from here. Of course, there is no double tap to sleep in the home screen or even in the status bar. Those features are not added yet. You can add the clock widgets and stuff. Let me actually show you right here. If I try to add this one, there are these amount of clocks and let me just add this one. So yeah, the clock widget and all, everything will be working fine and just tapping on it, just notice the animation, everything is working fine. Even this tapping and holding animation works really, really well. If you go into the wallpapers and styles, to the left of the home screen, you will also get the Google's Discover page with the weather and stuff and everything, the scrolling and all, everything is working fine with 120 hertz, no problem so far. And if you tap and hold on the blank area of the home screen, you will get the wallpapers and styles, widgets and the home screen settings right here. Let me actually show you the wallpapers and styles. This is how it looks like. You can change the accent colors from here. If you tap on the three dots, you will get even more options for the accent colors and the dark theme you can change from right here. And if you go into the lock screen, you will be able to change the lock screen clock styles. And just notice plethora of lock screen clock styles are there of Android 14. You can choose whichever you want. And again, plethora amount of options. I have been using it with this one. And if you scroll down more, we have the more screen option. We have the ambient display and stuff. We have the show device controls and the double line clock and stuff like that. We also have the show notification on the lock screen. And in the more clock settings, we have the AI kind of wallpaper. From here, you can set that AI kind of wallpaper. Let me actually show you. You can change these kind of colors and stuff like that. Let me actually create a wallpaper and it will ask you for permission. And once you click on inspire me, it will take some time. And if you're connected to Wi-Fi, it will give you a brand new wallpaper. So AI, in my opinion, with Android 14, it's just solid. So as you can see, you will get different options with this. So you can choose whatever you want and you can just apply it straight from there. Also, we get these minerals kind of wallpapers over here of Pixel, I guess. And we have this Come Alive and the Living Universe. All these old wallpapers are still there to download. And we have the other wallpapers right here that you can choose from. Let me just go back. Let me show you the quick setting panel. This is how it looks like. You can edit and add multiple toggles. But as of today, there are not much options like the always on display toggle and stuff are still missing. And in the quick setting panel, you will see even in the light theme, it will stay dark like this. So that's how it is. But the internet toggle and stuff, everything is working fine. And the animations of them are really, really good. The Bluetooth toggle, flashlight and stuff like that I have added. I have the hotspot, night light, the Google Home controls. And we also have the battery saver, the screen recorder and stuff. You can record the device audio and microphone audio with this. We have the show touches option as well. Then we have the dark theme, the nearby share the do not disturb and the airplane mode screencast also we have the one handed mode and the anti flicker mode and the power menu appears like this no advanced reboot as of today but that's how it is the normal settings panel looks pretty similar to android 13 still that i have to say otherwise you can go into the notification panel and you will find these kind of notification settings and in the battery settings this is how it looks like and in here this is good we get the battery percentage separately so if you enable that you will get the battery percentage seeing option on the status bar and this is how it looks like on the status bar it looks pretty good and we get this battery bar in the settings and we also have the optimization profile right here and per app optimization profile you can enable and you can set it to performance browser camera dialer games and the streaming application i have changed this to the benchmarking apps and as you can see with the performance i have selected for n2 i'll show you the n2 score and stuff later on but as of right now let me actually show you with the aku battery app my battery life it's estimated numbers guys but it's not too much as you can see it shows five hours and 36 minutes so you can say it's about six hours of screen on time here it's estimated and we have the screen off about 34 hours or 35 hours and the combined use shows as 26 hours the standby is not great this is because i was using the always on display for a day almost and yes with that my battery has degraded quite a lot and with that i have to say with the always on display it has consumed much more of the battery but otherwise if you don't use always on display it, the numbers will be much much better and the health section for me my battery health shows as 79 percent this is depending on one session and yeah 80 percent battery health i have because i haven't replaced the battery yet this is the original battery that i have been still using so with that i would say you can get six to seven hours screen on time if you haven't replaced your battery and the fast charging and stuff will be working fine these are the fast charging numbers that i have got 
so no need to worry about fast charging even if you don't flash that fast charging kind of kernel in the sound and vibration settings this is how it looks like we get a notification volume separately we scroll down more we have the phone ringtone and stuff and we have the vibration and haptics then we have the dial per tone screen locking sound and the charging sound charging vibration etc tap and click sound but there is no me audio direct over here and by the way the volume panel looks like this you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here and if you want to expand it normally sometimes it comes like this you have to do it again and as you can see right now it comes properly these are the expansion options that you will get over here now in the display settings we have the brightness level then we have the adaptive or auto brightness and you can enable it from right here we have the lock screen settings right here and we also have the ambient display in here we have the always on and the pickup gesture as well and the pickup gesture is actually working i'll show you this later on we also have the race to wake if you want to enable that you can we have the screen timeout up to 30 minutes and the dark theme is there you can schedule it and you can turn it on normally we have the display size and text right here we have the font size display size bold text option is there as well in case you want to enable that let me actually go back we have the colors you can change it to boosted saturated adaptive and natural let me go back we have the auto read screen and the minimum and maximum refresh rate you can change from right here i have selected it to 60 and 120 for the maximum we have the double tap to wake and the anti flicker is there as well but if you turn on anti flicker the display will turn a little bit dimmer just like this you have to increase your brightness but yeah this option is there in case you need it but normally let me actually show you the double tap to wake if it's actually working yes as you can see the double tap to wake it's just working perfectly fine no problems with it and the clock looks really really beautiful but right now i'll show you pickup gesture and here if i just put the device somewhere like on my hand and here i'm just picking it up and as you can see the pickup gesture has actually worked perfectly fine no problems with it and if i double tap okay so from the ambient display the double tap to wake sometimes doesn't work i have to use the power button and as you can see it is actually working fine let me just unlock it let me just turn on the always on display from here and right now if i just lock the device just notice the animation looks so beautiful over here in the lock screen and the fingerprint scanner speed it's just working perfectly fine no problems let me show you one more time so yeah the fingerprint scanner is working perfectly fine i'm having a hard time because there is no double tap to sleep but yeah everything is working fine over here with the fingerprint scanner it's just perfectly fast no problems in the always on display yes right now it worked sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't okay as you can see right now the double tap to wake yeah now it worked it takes a little bit time to actually get the double tap to wake working but yeah it is actually working fine of course you can change the clock style let me actually change that to maybe this one i haven't used this one so this is how it looks and in the always on display and the lock screen just notice how different it looks in both of them right now i'll use this and this is how it looks on the always on display and then on the lock screen this one looks normal in the always on display but in the lock screen as you can see this is how it looks the transition of this just looks so beautiful in android 14 i have to say let's try with this one this is how it looks in the always on display and in the lock screen it gets filled now the next one this is my favorite option this is how it looks in the always on display and in the lock screen this is how it looks just notice the difference looks so beautiful i have to say and there is this analog kind of one in the always on display looks like this and in the lock screen it actually moves around with the seconds bar as you can see i mean the seconds handle actually moves around if you take a look up close yeah it looks very beautiful i have to say so yeah pretty much you will get one of the best clock styles in android 14 that i have to say in android 14 and this is just looking so beautiful in here and from this clock settings you can also change the clock color and the font size you can have it dynamic or small and the like normal and the color you can actually change it from right here and if you just change that as you can see the color has changed so yeah you can definitely change whatever you want for the lock screen clock styles but sometimes i have seen it's force closing right now i cannot really change back the color but yeah that is how it is you can actually change it but i think a force close will fix that not really sure so the device has just rebooted so this is still an alpha build so this is actually doing these weird things but yeah normally i would say with updates it will be fixed with future updates pretty sure so it's just randomly rebooting to system cannot really boot into the system i think i have to reflash it or something like that 
So I have actually used this QLTWRP. It actually is asked you for the password and it can actually decrypt your Android 14 or Android 13 encryption. I just entered my lock screen pin and I'll click on write. So after you select your SD card, just go to your download folder and from here just flash or select the particular ROM that you are willing to flash. I have this reboot after installation selected. So I just swipe to confirm and flash and wait for the time being. Now let me show you the security settings in here. This is how it looks like actually looks very different from Android 13. And here we have the device unlock kind of thing. In the settings of it, we have the power button instantly locks. Lock screen timeout option is also there. And we have the enhanced pin privacy option. Let me actually go back. We have the fingerprints. I have already added the fingerprints. And here we have the privacy and then the more security settings. In here, you will also get this extend unlock option. This is the smart unlock, I think, of Android 13. So yeah, this is how the security settings looks. We do not yet have a face unlock or app lock. Do not expect those. In case you are wondering about the normal things, yes, safety net passes right out of the box. So banking apps will be working over here. But still, I would not recommend you guys to actually use it as a daily driver. Well, that's because I just went to the lock screen settings and I just changed the clock font colors. Right now, I cannot really go into it and the system is just totally force closing and all. So yeah, this is the reason why I will not recommend to actually use this as a daily driver. As you can see, it's force closes. I think it will actually reboot the device once again. I have to reflash it to actually get it working. But yeah, the DRM info shows as L1. So you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p. And in case you are wondering about the IR Blaster, yes, that works. But here you will not get the Google Photos spoof. So the unlimited Google Photos and videos backup is not simply there. And in case you are wondering about the 120Hz, yes, 120Hz, it's properly working. Even with Google Chrome, it's showing 120FPS as you can see in test of our website. Otherwise, as you can see, YouTube and stuff, everything is working fine. The scrolling, it's working great. And even with Play Store opening and stuff like that, scrolling, it's working fine. And switching between apps, it's just perfectly working. No problems with RAM management over here. But still, this is an alpha build. You need to keep that in mind before flashing this ROM. So only if you just want to try Android 14 and this is your secondary device, I'll recommend flashing this ROM. And here are the Android 20 Gigabyte score with a CPU stress test on this particular build to give you an idea about the overall UI performance. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Please share this video with your friends if you want to know how the latest Pixel Experience ROM is working with Android 14 on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This is Tito from KTN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.